What's up, people? It's Aysen from Watch New Tech, and this is the most requested video my comparison of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, this is 4K 60 FPS. It's very windy here, so check for the microphones and see which one can better isolate the wind voice. And also, check for the dynamic range as I'll be panning around, you know, going towards the sun. So, you see which one can better preserve, you know, my skin and the color of my t shirt very well. So, Let's do this, it's time to make some great comparison. So, let's go. So to kick things off, here are the camera specification of both phones, just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with. All the pictures and videos were taken in auto mode and for clarification, all photos and videos taken from iPhone save as IMG, all photos from Samsung save as dates and numbers. So starting with daytime ultra wide angle, the iPhone 13 Pro Max represented the sky correctly while the S22 Ultra did a better job with the color of the building. Also the S22 Ultra is better with dynamic range as you can see from the green flower on the left. For details, most of the time S22 Ultra is sharper. Take a look at the lines on the wall, it's better defined on the S22 Ultra. It's like a pattern, better sky rendition for the 13 Pro Max while better dynamic range and details for the S22 Ultra. But sometimes the iPhone 13 Pro Max is sharper too. Like in this shot, the text on the sign is clearly more detailed on the 13 Pro Max. But remember the S22 Ultra have a 108 megapixel and if you shoot on the 108 megapixel mode, the detail will be superior to any phone that shoot in 12 megapixel like the 13 Pro Max. So guys, for portrait mode, I will test for you know, dynamic range, you know, and uh, details and all that to see which one of these two can shoot a better portrait. For portrait mode, both the S20 Ultra and the 13 Pro Max do an excellent job, but I notice the 13 Pro Max always make dark skin people darker. Even the 12 Pro Max does this as well. The skin is just too dark. As for details and edge detection, the S20 Ultra was better most of the time. Take a look at the blood suppression on my hand. Notice the 13 Pro Max is struggling. Even the details on my index finger is smudged and this happens a lot if you take a picture of objects. But it's not always perfect for the S20 Ultra though. Take a look at my hand. There is no detail on the S20 Ultra and it needs to blow below my hand too. For the flower, the 13 Pro Max nailed the color correctly but missed the focus point. While the S20 Ultra got the focus point correctly but the color is very bad. Okay guys, this is testing the cinematic mode of the iPhone 13 Pro Max as well as the portrait video of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Both of them have similar features but then let's watch which one can better, you know, isolate me from the background. I'm like, you know, back in the sun right now so it's kind of a difficult situation for both of them. So watch which one can, you know, be consistent with the blur, which one can separate me very well. And also watch which one can keep the actual color correctly of my skin as well as, you know, the details of my face and all that. For portrait video or cinematic mode, they both performed okay but not perfect. For instance, the 13 Pro Max have better dynamic range and screen representation but did a bad job with details and blur separation. On the other hand, the S20 Ultra did a better job with details and blur separation like separating me from the background but did a bad job with my skin and my t-shirt is too contrast. For macro mode, it goes back and forth. Sometimes the 13 Pro Max is better. Other times, the S22 Ultra is better, but the 13 Pro Max can get closer for sure. How about zoom shot? For zoom shot, it's no contest. The S22 Ultra destroys the 13 Pro Max in every way. And this is because the 13 Pro Max can only do 3x optical zoom and every other shot after 3x is digital zoom, which can go up to 15x. The S22 Ultra, on the other hand, can do both 3x optical and 10x optical zoom. With the help of a periscope lens, you can get up to 30x hybrid optical zoom and digital zoom of up to 100x and so the S20 Ultra is clearly better with zoom. So guys this is 4K 30fps on the S20 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm walking, watch for stabilization. I'm gonna pan around. Okay. Now let's go to 1x. I'm going to go for some work. I'm going to watch for the stabilization. And 
on the dynamic rate. Now let's go 3x. Both of them have a 3x optical lens. But also the S22 Ultra can go up to 10x for the optical. So let's go 10x. 10x on the iPhone. The iPhone can max out at 9x. Check for the clarity. Which one is sharper? So it's getting dark and it took some indoor and outdoor shot. For outdoor shot, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is slightly better. Why for indoor shot, the S20 Ultra did a slightly better job. The difference is very minor though, but once it's nighttime proper and night mode kicks in, I can confirm for sure that the S20 Ultra is like 80% of the time better. It's sharper, with better colors and better dynamic wind. The iPhone 13 Pro Max often blow out the details from bright light and it just can't pull enough light from dark areas and don't even get me started with the selfie at night it's very bad and noisy on the 13 pro max so if you shoot a lot at night it's the s so there you have it guys my camera comprising the 20 galaxy s20 ultra and the iphone 13 pro max so let's do a recap to give you guys an idea of how both of them performed so but first of all both of this phone they do an excellent job with pictures and videos so you have nothing to worry about but then you should expect this because both of them cost more than $1,000. So but after taking lots of pictures and videos, these are my findings. For the front facing camera, overall, for videos, both of them do an excellent job during the day. There's nothing to worry about. So if you're into vlogging and lots of you know, videos with the front facing camera, both of them will serve you very well during the day. So while for pictures in general, for daytime and nighttime, the S20 Ultra was able to pull in more details, you know, better dynamic range, you know, and this is most of the time, not all the time. Sometimes the iPhone, you know, do a better job, but most of the time the S20 Ultra was able to put in more details as well as, you know, uh, more dynamic range, you know, for the front facing camera. So, but for the, when you flip to the back side of things, the back cameras, you know, for the ultra wide angle, you know, for videos, during the day, both of them, they are very similar. You will hardly, you know, notice any difference between both of them during the day. But when it gets to nighttime time again, the iPhone again similar was able to you know denoise the video a little bit better than what the S20 Ultra was doing. You understand and was able to put in more light. You know the difference is not much, but you know if you look for it <laughs> specifically, you can find it. You understand. So for the main camera for video is similar story. The iPhone 13 Pro Max was able to you know put in a little bit more light, kind of a little bit more dynamic range. You know compared to the um, Galaxy S20 Ultra, but you know when there's harsh light, kind of you know like during the night, uh, when there's harsh light at night, I notice that the iPhone 13 Pro Max always you know blow out the highlights and all that. I don't know why it does that, you know. So, but the S20 Ultra does not do this. So when it comes to zoom for videos, the definitely <laughs> is the Galaxy S20 Ultra. This is because S20 Ultra can shoot video with up to 10x optical zoom so it's sharper and better than what the iPhone is able to offer so but for photos you know both normal daytime pictures uh, portrait mode pictures uh, as well as nighttime pictures the Galaxy S20 Ultra turned out you know to do better most of the time most of the time guys you know with um, better dynamic range you know and better details but for the portrait side of things you know most especially if you are snapping like objects like pets or like objects and all that the iphone always fumbles with the edge detection is not it misses the the edge detection a lot compared to the galaxy s20 Ultra. and also uh, people of um, you know dark skin i noticed that the iphone 13 pro max but portrait and you know pictures in general they tend to make your skin darker i don't know why they do this but i don't notice that problem with the um, galaxy s20 ultra so but overall for for pictures the both during the day and during the night the galaxy s20 ultra was able to do a better job so but still <laughs> any one of these camera you pick you should not have anything to worry about they will, they will they'll serve you well they'll perform very well for you outside the zoom when it comes to zoom it's just the testing pro max is just not the hardware is not just there for you to <laughs> do 
um, as well as what the uh, Galaxy S24 is doing. So, but every other, you know, features that you have, you know, like for pictures and videos, you know, they can satisfy you with what if you are using either one of these two. So there you have it, guys. My camera comparison between these two. I know it took a lot of time for me to drop this. I did do some promo on Instagram, you know, just to give you guys a clip of the pictures that I'm going to use in this video and all that. So I, I do a full-time job, so that's why I take lots of time for me to you know put out a video because um, the YouTube stuff is just my second job. So I do a full-time job, so it takes time for me to make my YouTube video. But irrespective of that, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and uh, you know, and turn on the bell notification so that when I drop a new video, you'll be the first to get notified.